it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Sometimes you can be forgiven for thinking that a brewery only produces one beer. And that one beer isn't even a beer. It's a Rattler. It's a grapefruit Rattler that you can buy in Tesco's and Sainsbury's and many other supermarkets out there. Believe it's an Austrian beer company that produces this beer. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think they're Austrian. Have you seen the little orange cans of Schofferhofer pink grapefruit Rattler? Next time you go in Tesco, look for it, find it. It's mind-blowingly good, it really is. But it's based on a Weiss beer, a German-style Weiss beer, but with pink grapefruit lemonade added to it. And it's it's about 2%, 2.5%, something along those lines. But it is fantastically crisp and drinkable and lovely and bang fantastic. So I was on the Beers of Europe website picking some beers. I picked up two of the Schofferhofer beers. Now, I, whether it's me being lazy or maybe it's just because I've only seen the one beer, but I didn't know Schofferhofer produced other beers. This is their Crystal Weizen, which we're going to get to in the next... Well, have a look on YouTube in the future. It'll be there in the future. It'll be reviewed in the future. But not quite yet, because I want to do this one first. The Hef Weiss beer. It's 5% ABV. There's the bottle cap. But it has, it has such a unique... Now I've shown the bottle, you'll probably look, be looking at this bottle and going, ah, I know which Radler this guy's banging on about. I have seen it, but I've not tried it. You'll see it. You'll see this stuff in bottle shops. You'll see it in Tesco's. Trust me, if you want something thirst quenchingly good and really low in the ABV, that's the beer to go for. It's tremendous. So I'm quite excited for this. Quite excited for this beer. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. In the UK, you can generally, you can buy Paulina, you can buy Franciscana, you can buy Erdinger, all those wonderful vice beers. But if you want something a little bit different, if you want to try something like this, for example, then look at beersofeunup.co.uk. They have a fantastic range of beer from all over the world. If you've, if you've been on holiday, if you've worked away, if you want to try that beer that you fell in love with whilst you were away, then the best place to find it in the UK would be beersofeunup.co.uk. Link in the description box of the video. So, um, not poured properly yet. Um, maybe I was a bit too aggressive with this one. Of course, with, with, with all good vice beers, you're meant to mix up that last inch of beer in the bottle and dump it in there and get all that kind of yeast. All that flavour is in the bottom of the bottle. So I'm going to have to get into this one at the moment, drink some of it down and get that last inch um, into the glass. But we got good carbonation. There is some haze there. I would say it's an amber coloured beer with a three to four finger white head. Nice tight head on the beer. Let's get the aroma. Mmm. Quite a dry aroma coming through on this one. Dry with white pepper. Yeah, it almost gives you that little kind of, do you know when you open a pepper pot and you're getting your nose in, you're like, it almost, ooh, it's almost like that. It's almost like sticking your nose into a pepper pot. but with some of that kind of banana clove coming through from that yeast. I'm going to dive in. Cheers, everyone. Oh.
Whoa. That's really unique. That is really unique vice beer. I want to make sure, I want to like, let's get this bit of yeast in. There you go, look at the difference now. Look at the difference that beer's offered. You can see the last remnants of what that beer looked like just now. Look at the sediment making its way to the bottom of the glass. But then as I lower the glass, look at that haze in there. Look at that haze. Let's mix this up. There we go. And let's go again, because that was a really unique flavour. That was really kind of white peppery, very dry, touch of sweetness. It'll be complete, well, maybe, maybe not. Um, it should be completely different now. Yeah, touch more sweetness now. Touch more sweetness coming through. Yeah, much more like it. Much sweeter, much more of that banana, much more of that clove, that pepperiness, that spiciness. That's more like it. That's more like it. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. It's why I love vice beer as much as I like vice beer. Because that last inch of that beer in the bottom of that bottle has made all of the difference. All of the difference to this beer. I think if I left that last inch out... I could be terrible here, but I won't. Um, by adding that extra inch, no, I'm not going to go there. Um, by pouring that last inch of beer into the glass, it's just changed the beer so much, so much. The first taste, while well, I was calling it unique, was really dry and peppery and spot like putting your nose into a pepper pot now with that last inch of beer changing the beer completely i'm picking up banana clove spices <coughs> drinkability is terrific it's a really good vice beer a really good vice beer so what I'm imagining with the Schaffer Hoffer, the pink grapefruit Radler beer, is that I'm imagining that you're getting, like, they're combining the Weiss beer here with some of that pink grapefruit, and they just, they just made this kind of, like, Radler-style beer that is, it is tremendous. It is absolutely fantastic to drink. It really is. The drinkability on the stuff is just fantastic. In fact, in the summer now, in the summer, when Lidl get their kind of fest beers in and they bring out their Radler, oh, in the summer, boiling hot day, I'll drink it all day. I'll drink Radler all day. Terrific stuff. <clears throat> but try the shop for half a Radler. It's really good. You'll see that orange label in, in bottle shops. You'll see the Radler more than you see the Vice Beer. This is the first time I've seen the Vice Beer in the UK. Right. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> I thought it was Austrian. Um, <laughs> brewed and bottled in Germany. There we are. It's German. Why did I think it was Austrian? Why did I think it was Austrian beer? It must be mixed up somewhere. Never mind. Rating. Good lacing. Good look to the beer. Fantastic look to the beer. Great aroma. Fantastic taste. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 
So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.